Today I want to paint this in acrylic in a much larger format. I want it to go from this to this. If you want to go straight to the painting, you can go to the timestamp because I just want to talk about a few things before I start painting. I've been reflecting about all the paintings I created in the past couple of years and what I want to paint more of. And one thing that keeps coming back into my mind is that sense of minimalism. I've talked about it a lot. Minimalism, calmness, like peaceful, a peaceful sense in a painting, but I've not achieved it. And in looking at my art, I know where my areas of improvements are and why the paintings do don't come out the way I would want them to come out. I'm not saying that they're bad or anything like that. I, what I'm saying is that naturally what comes out of me without thinking with just going with the flow isn't what I would like it to look like. So I just need to improve a few areas to see how it feels to get the result that I'm looking for instead of going with the flow and do what's natural. Not one is better than the other, I don't think. I just want to be able to, I just want to have more freedom and decide when I want to let loose and do what comes naturally. And when I want to go in a more specific mood and be able to reach that kind of feeling. I've already tried a couple of years ago to make this in a larger format and it didn't quite work. Like the result was okay, but it didn't have that feeling of like calm and minimalism. And I know why. The problem with that first attempt was scale. In going bigger, I went bigger. I mean that in all the foliage and the textures, I made everything larger, a little bit too large than it should have been. Because in painting, whenever you put details that are very small and, on, and you keep everything in a small scale, it's going to create that sense of expansiveness and large open areas. So um, let's say, yeah, this seascape that I painted doesn't feel very expansive and wide, like zoomed out. It feels pretty zoomed in and that's because the rocks are large, the waves are big big and large, there's a lot of big bold texture. But if I had kept it very small and dainty, I would have had that feeling of expansive open spaces. And I think that the wider angle you try to capture, the more open and peaceful something could look. That's what I'm trying to achieve. So I'm going to work with smaller paintbrushes instead of large paintbrushes. I'm gonna keep the scale a lot sm as small as I possibly can and I'm gonna keep that in mind to have minimal details, minimal texture and to keep things small in proportion so that I get that expansive horizon feeling. There's many other aspects of painting that I want to explore to get that minimalism and calmness. I know what I want to tackle but today I'm going to focus on scale and I'm also going to use that uh, puddle pouring uh, kind of technique. Not the pouring where there's a whole bunch of paint that drips, not that one. I painted this painting using a very diluted um, uh, acrylic mix and I'm gonna use it to recreate this or attempt to recreate this so that I get nice transparencies and a little bit of randomness that will act as foliage as opposed to having a lot of brush strokes. So I'm hoping that it creates like a nice texture and some interest texture wise without being very bold. I'm gonna get to painting. I hope it works this time, but even if it doesn't, it's all work in progress. I'm learning and I'm trying to, to get there, you know? I love bold paintings, like, let me show you. 
wait, like this is very bold, bold colors and a lot of texture and contrast. And I want to keep doing stuff like that. But like I said, I want to be able to have a choice in the matter and not let my natural way of doing it take over every single time. Depending on what I want to achieve, I want to be able to have that freedom. Let's paint. By the way, the yellow thing here is I use linseed oil to blend this oil pastel and it stained the paper. Thank you. 
This painting looks so simple and in theory it is, but it took me a long time to get it to where I want it to be. I fiddled around a lot with this foreground off camera to get it to that feeling of minimalism but still having some interest because I could have had a real blended little stripe of color here with not much much texture but I feel like because the scale of the painting is much larger than the original it might have looked too bare and not interesting enough so that achieving the balance of a little bit of texture some transparencies but keeping that scale smaller to keep the minimalism was harder than I thought, but it's good. I'm happy with the result. The result that I'm getting is very close to the original small uh, work on paper. So I feel like when it comes to texture, blending, transparencies and scale, keeping the details like smaller and more dainty and more sparse, I achieved what I set out to do and as far as that feeling of calm and quiet that I want to come out in certain pieces, I think that this is close to what I want but it's not quite there. My next move to tackle like in another painting or in another video is gonna be about colors because I feel like this color palette is maybe a little bit too saturated to get that real minimalist quiet kind of feel that I want. It's still very minimal. I know that it is, but the sky is very blue. These values maybe are a bit dark, especially in contrast to this white. So one other thing is going to be that to explore color palettes like what colors I choose the intensity saturation of the colors and all that anyways those are my thoughts I'm happy but I'm still on the quest if you have seen things I'm not seeing please share in the comments if you're struggling with a specific like area that you naturally get to but that's not what you want to work on let me know I'm curious and if you want to see more go watch this one it's a good one. I will see you in just a few days for another one.